In this video, we look at procedures, functions, and parameters. So in order to fully understand procedures and functions, we're going to use the example of this simple roller dice game written in Python, which we've been using in a number of these videos. We'll look at the actual IGCSE Cambridge pseudocode at the end of this video. So both procedures and functions can be thought of as subroutines or subprograms. Procedures carry out a task and they help provide structure to your code. Functions carry out a task and in addition return a value and that bit's important and they help you to create reusable program components. So in this example game in Python, the code actually starts at the bottom of the code listing. That's because everything above it is either a procedure or a function. The very first line calls output throw. So the program jumps and executes the code from the line that says death output throw, which is the start of the subroutine. When the subprogram ends, it returns a value, and that's the role. This means output throw is a function because it returns a value. The output throw function itself also calls another subroutine, roller dice, which returns a random number from one to six. Well, this also makes roller dice another function as it returns a value. Output throw function also calls another subroutine, order dice. And we can see here that order dice returns the value of the two dice with the largest value first. Again, as it's returning a value, it's yet an example of another function. There are several advantages to using subroutines like procedures and functions. Overall, they make your programs easy to write and also to debug. These subroutines or functions can be easily reused. And functions themselves can be stored in a library for easy reuse across multiple programs. A great example is the use of import random, which we use in this program. This imports the random library of functions into our program. Finally, creating programs using subroutines like this makes them far easier to test. We introduced flowcharts as a way of designing a solution to a problem and looking at algorithms in a previous video. And we mentioned then that one of the symbols you could use was the subroutine symbol. Here we can see how subprograms are called from inside flowcharts. So let's actually look at how some of these concepts will appear in your exam following the Cambridge IGCC pseudocode format. Now, one important thing to mention here, which we haven't discussed so far, is that both procedures and functions can either be supplied with no parameters or with parameters. Parameters are other variables that you pass in to the procedure and function when you call them. So the top there is how you declare a procedure with no parameters. And then the second section in the middle is how we declare a C procedure with parameters. If you then want to call a procedure, in pseudocode, you use the word call followed by the procedure name. And if the procedure has parameters, we then supply those. The parameters have to be supplied in the correct order and of the correct data type to match the definition of the procedure that you wrote. Here is some example code following the IGCC pseudocode format that shows you using procedures and calling them both with and without parameters.
in a very similar way, functions can be called either with no parameters or with parameters. The structure is very similar. The only difference is because functions have to return a value, we add a return word in the function header, along with the data type for the value that needs to be returned. The call keyword we were using with procedures should not be used when calling a function. Functions should only be called as part of an expression. So when the return statement is executed, the value returned replaces the function call in the expression and the expression is then evaluated. Here's an example of a function being declared. It takes two parameters, both integers, number one and number two, and it returns an integer. That's everything you need to know for your exam. Pause the video and take some notes.